Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brandon Bartlett. We begin tonight with new details on that Davis County High School student rushed to the hospital today after vaping at school. And we're learning tonight that six other people might be facing drug charges related to that incident. Eyewitness News Amanda Mueller is live tonight at the school with what we know. Amanda? Brennan, we do have new details tonight on that investigation, which we know started here at Davies County High School just after noon today. That's when the school resource officer received a call from the school staff reporting a female student had been taken to Owensboro Regional Hospital from what a press release called an alleged vaping overdose. I spoke with the chief deputy from the sheriff's office tonight, and I asked what that means. It's, it's, it's to a situation where they're intoxicated to the level that's just a concern. Uh, and and the, the, the big concern is you don't know what product they have ingested. Six other juveniles and possibly more will be facing drug charges for being under the influence. The female was treated and released. It's not clear exactly what was in that vape, but it has been sent to the state lab for testing. However, investigators do think it was most likely THC. I was also told it was a jewel vape and none of the minors are facing distribution charges. This is the second vaping incident that has resulted in a hospitalization in Davis County so far. We'll keep you updated as more details become available. Live in Davis County, Amanda Mueller. Eyewitness News. Amanda, thank you.